On Eagle Nation News, Annika Hankey looks into how one of the world's biggest known companies is dealing with patent trolls. Maddie Wilbanks highlights how one student manages school and multiple extracurriculars. And Caleb Delaney will be in studio to discuss social media. Eagle Nation News starts right now. Good afternoon, Prosper High School. Today is Tuesday, February 26th. I'm Casey Boston. And I'm Braden Brandenfold. So we have some news recently from President Trump and the national emergency of the border wall. A couple of weeks ago, President Donald Trump called for a national emergency to build the border wall, and the House is expecting to vote over whether or not they would like to overturn this decision by the president. Many representatives have raised concern over whether this emergency declaration is unconstitutional or not one of which stated that it isn't about the border, but it's about the Constitution. On a more local note, the girls' lacrosse team will be playing this Thursday at 7 at Rockwell High School. Boys' lacrosse will be playing at 7 as well at Reynolds Middle School just down the street. They will be playing on Friday. Local Apple stores have decided to shut down due to patent trolls and are opening a new location in Dallas. Annika Hankey looks into why Apple has decided to make a sudden location change. The sound of your phone falling on the ground may send you into alarm and headed for your keys. The Stonebriar or Willowbin Apple locations are convenient for an easy fix, but the commute may become a little bit further as they are planned to close both of those locations and open a brand new one in the Galleria Mall. The reason for the closing is patent trolls in East Texas who rely on lawsuits to make money versus making their own goods. While most people would consider Collin County to lie in North Texas, it is still considered under East Texas District. To avoid these lawsuits, Apple has decided to relocate any Apple stores that are currently running in the East Texas region. With this announcement, Apple stated, With a new Dallas store coming to the Dallas Galleria this April, we've made the decision to consolidate stores and close Apple Stonebriar and Apple Willowbin. All employees from these stores will be offered positions at the new Dallas store or other Apple locations. So when the Plano and Frisco locations close their doors, the Galleria Dallas location will be large enough to accommodate crowds from all around North Texas. In Frisco, I'm Monica Hankey reporting for Eagle Nation News. Maddie Wilbanks will highlight a sophomore here at PHS that manages to juggle both school and competitive cheerleading after the fifth break. Now we send it to Maddie Wilbanks, who looks into one Prosper student who manages a busy schedule. There are many girls here at Prosper that are involved in school and competitive cheer. Grace Demick has managed to do both. I started cheer in my really small town uh, when I was six years old, and I just saw the big girls doing it, so I was like, I want to do that. It's half their lives, right? more than half of her life. Grace spends a lot of time in the cheer gym, but she finds a way to manage her schoolwork. Uh, well, school is really important to me, so doing competitive cheer and school cheers and balancing homework at the same time is really hard, but I just have to like remember that school comes before everything else, but um, I just have to like prioritize my time. Cheer can affect people's lives in many ways, but for Grace's family, it was for the better. Um, I think it's actually been really good for our family. Um, you know, cheer is cheer's a lot like life, you know. It's a lot of discipline, it's a lot of dedication, it's a lot of hard work and a lot of life lessons. So uh, I think we've all learned those throughout the years. So, I, you know, I think it's been, I think it's, it's positively affected our family, most definitely. Otherwise, we wouldn't still be doing it. For Grace Demick, competitive and school cheer are very different. However, both take up most of her time. Well, competitive cheer is more exhausting, and you have to be really trained and disciplined and self-motivated. And with school cheer, 
you're kind of just told what to do, and you just get to have fun. And you still work hard, but you more get to have fun. <laughs> okay, well, competitive cheer takes up a lot more time, even though school cheer is at school, so like... It's divided into different times, so you can only be there for so long. But competitive cheer, you can go until you can't go anymore. <laughs> Grace spends many hours of her week focused on cheerleading, both school and competitive. But she finds a way to handle her time with cheer, schoolwork, and family. Reporting for Eagle Nation News, I'm Maddie Wilbanks, Prosper. Stay tuned because after this, Caleb Delaney will be in studio with your Eagle Update. Ammonia, nicotine, rat poison, and black tar heroin are just some of the 4,000 toxic ingredients found in cigarettes. Today, almost 2,500 children will try their first cigarettes, exposing their developing adolescent brain causing underlying effects such as sagging skin, skin cancer, hair loss, colored teeth, and many more. A single cigarette can ruin a kid's future and primes them for a higher likelihood of addiction to other drugs like cocaine. Just say no. Now we send it to Caleb Delaney, who talks about the ins and outs of social media. Today is actually a very serious topic. Do you know what's interesting? I do daily dose of social media when I myself hate social media. The reason for getting social media is because our generation craves to perform. Everyone wants to be famous, and instead of doing anything productive, we want the easy way out, and we hope to get discovered. But it corrupts the mind, with people so desperate for attention, people taking provocative pictures and posting them for the world to see, to corrupt the mind, the point of ex to the point of exploiting oneself. It's sad. And to add to the countless things, cyberbullying, the mean, harsh language has become so mundane and watered down. Phrases like kill yourself has made its way into our re regular conversations. That is terrible and sickening. How can one person just tell someone that? That's horrible. The reason why is because we can hide our identities behind social media and post without and we can post hate without consequences. The issues of social media are horrific and hurting far too many people. However, this is just my opinion on social media. Back to you guys at the desk. Thank you, Caleb. Now let's take a look at the meeting schedule for the week. Well, that's all the time we have for you today. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Brandon Brandvold. And I'm Casey Boston. Live long and prosper. Oh,